back up. Everything going well? Yes, Mr. Vaughan. Good. Time for our little experiment. Mr. Vaughan, I don't think we, we must should... try the machine, Gregory. But it's dangerous. It would be even more dangerous if we didn't try it. We must be sure we have an effective weapon against the Cybermen. You're going to try it on one of them? Uh, why not? Revive it, uh, just enough to bring it out of its cocoon. Yes, sir. will react to fear. Increase the power. More power! Attack all the rings! the others into the sewer. Let it go. It's gone mad. It could have killed us all. Possibly. But I think we've proved that the professor's machine can be effective. Get him to work on it, Gregory. I want twice as much power. And I want directional control. Yeah, but what about that one? You can't let it roam down there alone. Why not? Well, it'll kill anything that gets in its way. Good. Anyone fool enough to be down those sewers deserves to die. Now, you really believe that these Cybermen things are done in the sewers? Seems to make sense. But you can't do anything about it without proof or evidence. Central Command would think I was mad. Well, the answer's simple, surely. Go and get some proof. And how do I prove that in the sewers of London there are creatures from outer space waiting to attack us? Go and get one? You wouldn't stand a chance against them, Isabel. Ah, but you wouldn't have to go anywhere near them. Photograph them. That's not a bad idea. Wait a minute, it'll be pitch dark down there in those tunnels. You could use an infrared film, a 25 filter on a 35 mil camera with a telephoto lens, and, well, you could take frame after frame without getting anywhere near them. Is that all gibberish, or do you really know what you're talking about? Of course I know. Well, if you're right, it could well be the sort of proof I need to get some action. Well, all I need is my cameras from the house, and then I'm all set. Now, now wait a minute. This is hardly a job for you. Why oh, ever not? Well, uh, you're a young woman. This is a job for my men. Well, of all the bigoted, anti-feminist, cretinous remark. This is no job for a girl like you. Now, that's final. Oh, you... you man. I'll get in touch with my photographic unit and get them onto it. Oh, that stupid, bigoted, idiotic... Ah, uh, well, he's right, you know. Jamie McCrimmon. Oh, he is. Well, just because you're a man, you think you're superior, do you? Uh, no, I didn't say that. Of course, it's true. Is it really? Right. Isabel? What splendid idea. Uh, where are you going? Do you think we should let him come with us? Oh, I don't know. Men aren't much good in situations no, no, like this. Just a moment. Where are you going? London. Coming? Uh, London? No, 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 we shouldn't do anything without the doctor. Oh. This is rather like looking for the proverbial needle in the proverbial... Just a minute. Found something? I don't know. Wait a minute. Yes. 
Yes, I'm almost sure that this is the same sort of circuit as was in Jamie's radio. But what does it do? Well, I've no idea, but it's certainly not part of that equipment. Have a look. But why put in a circuit if it doesn't do anything? Oh, it does something all right. The question is what? One hour before invasion, the cyber transmitter units will be launched into orbit around Earth. The effect will be immediate. Yes, transmissions will penetrate all areas. And if it doesn't work? Humans cannot resist cyber control. Our forces will penetrate all areas and select suitable humans for cybernetic conversion. Conversion to cybermen? Yes. The unsuitable humans will be destroyed.